Now I'm just going to go ahead and do this other test, move these out of the way. And this is water that was ionized yesterday from the Athena and I put it in this jar and it's, this is a mason jar with a nice sealed lid and basically I overfilled it so it had a dome of water up there and then after the dome of water after I stuck this lid on it kind of spilled over on the sides a little bit and then I screwed it down. The reason I stuck a dome of water there was I wanted to have no air bubble in here because when you put an air bubble, even a small one, you're going to lose some of your ORP. Now I have literally tested every single type <laughs> of water storage container. I've tested milk jugs, small, medium, large milk jugs, soda bottles, water bottles, uh, expensive water bottles you buy in the store, all different kinds, and I have never been able to store the ionized water very well in any of them. Uh, prior to this, uh, finding out about the mason jars, um, my favorite bottle at the time was just a plastic uh, bottle that I got some juice in every month, but this is so much better. I, I the, uh, the other one would lose half the or only half the ORP. This one will not even lose that much. So this is after sitting for a full 24 hours we're going to see some pretty good pH and ORP still in this water. Hold on one second, let's get that pH meter here. So this is coming in after a full day. It's like a 10.9 pH and a negative 540 ORP. That's that's actually pretty amazing. That's that's a great retention of pH and ORP. So uh, this is what I recommend. Uh, just store the, you know, just get a regular ionizer. If you want to, if you have to go to work and you're, you, you, you want some kind of portable thing to take with you to, to work, just bring, get a thing of these mason jars. I, I got 12 of these mason jars for $10. Uh, 